70-year-old Oma Maria Sneida is more like a friend to her grandchildren. They play together and talk about almost everything. After all, they are all she's left with. They are 16 in total, and the youngest is only two years old, while the oldest is 16. These are the children of her six children. Four of her siblings have died, and she has no clue of the whereabouts of the remaining. Only four of her grandchildren go to school, some dropped out, and others are still not of school-going age. All their daily needs comes from Oma Maria's monthly social grant, and all compete for space in Oma's small bedroom when night falls. Although the children do qualify for monthly social grants, they are not registered for this benefit, as some of them do not have birth certificates. The grandmother is also too old to register those who have. Their problems have become mine, but I have no choice. I just pray to God and spend my pension to buy maize meal and other things. But this responsibility is also affecting her health. Her breast cancer operation is long overdue, but the thought of leaving her grandchildren to fend for themselves is preventing her from setting up another doctor's appointment. Is Omar not in the hospital? If Omar must be admitted in the hospital, who is going to take care of them? The house might burn again and when I come back, where are they going to stay? Her movement is somewhat slowed as a result of ill health and she tells us that part of her body might be paralyzed. Raising children is a challenge and grandparents have already met that challenge once with their own children. But now many grandparents are called upon to do it for the next generation. The ever smiling Oma Maria is only one among many and her prayer is to live to see them grow until they can stand on their own.